hey welcome back everyone today in this video i am going to explain you what is the exact formula for the standard deviation what is the correct formula for the standard deviation because in the last video i have explained you how to calculate the mean and standard deviation then some of my students have asked me a question so there are two types of formulas for the standard deviation so which type of formula we have to select so today in this video i am going to show you what are the two different types of formulas used for the standard deviation and what formula we have to select when we are doing the test uh, when we are uh, calculating the data so let's see so we are having the two types of formulas so number 1 and number 2 so the first formula will be like this standard deviation it is equal to uh, x minus x bar whole square then sum of divided by n and there is a square root for the whole formula and another type of formula will be like this sd is is equal to uh same sum of x minus x bar whole square divided by n minus 1 these are the two types of formulas where you might uh, you will get confused what is the correct formula so in this video i am telling you clearly both the formulas the formula this one uh, sd is equal to square root of sum of x minus x bar whole square divided by capital n and sd is equal to square root of sum of x minus x bar whole square divided by small n minus 1 both the formulas are correct but which formula we have to use so this formula we have to use when you are collecting the data from population this this standard deviation formula you have to use when you are collecting the data from the population and this formula you have to use when you are collecting the data from a sample when you are collecting the data of the sample so this you have to use for the population and this you have to use for the sample everything is same the square root is same sum is same individual values are same and the mean is same square is same and divided by here it comes for the population and here it is comes for the sample so this is the only difference this is the only difference between these two formulas but both the formulas are correct correct and this is used for the data of obtained from the population and this is used for the data obtained from the sample now again you will get a confusion what is population and what is sample when we are talking about the whole country india when we are talking about the whole country india it is called as population but when we are talking about a particular state a particular state or a city or a town this is called as sample likewise when you are talking about lab tests when you are talking about the laboratory tests there are different types of tests there are different types of tests like urea sorry i will write there in a normal way yes i will write in a normal way so when we are talking about india it is called as population but in the india we are having classification that is uh, states like uh, states or cities or towns or villages it is called as sample okay and when it comes to our medical laboratory field here also we can uh, we are having population and sample see in the laboratory we are having biochemistry tests like 
ग्लूकोस क्रिएटिन एंड यूरिया लिपिड प्रोफाइल एंड many other glucose urea creatinine lipids and thyroid there are many other types of tests like this many other tests are present in the department of biochemistry so when we are talking about say alone single glucose this is called as a sample and when you are talking about creatinine this is called as sample this whole completely together it is called as population okay so whenever you are talking about a single parameter it is called as a sample and when you are talking about the sample you have to use this formula when you are talking about the whole population and we are uh, when you are calculating the standard deviation of, of the data which is collected from the whole population then you have to go for this formula okay sample is nothing but this is population and a part of population is called as sample based on some special type of parameters we will divide this population into samples like 100 people 100 uh, students were there like for example one more example i am interested to give for you to understand it clearly so see let's see some 100 students are there these are called as population in this population 10 students are very good in running 10 are good in singing 10 students are good in uh, sorry let's take it as 20 students are good in studying and 30 students are good in uh, fighting like this so this is the population inside the population we are having the samples 10 for running and 10 for singing 20 for studying and 30 for fighting like this you should not get confused what type of standard deviation formula you have to use for the population and sample so i think uh, now you are having a clear idea what are the two formulas and for what they are used for thank you please uh, subscribe our channel and if it is possible please share the video to your friends also thank you